Google DeepMind earns a silver medal at the International Mathematical Olympiad using their new breakthrough models Alpha Proof and Alpha Geometry 2. How did they do it? Well, let's just say they had some help from a very intelligent friend. OpenAI unveils SearchGPT, an AI search prototype that is said to eventually be integrated within ChatGPT. Yet another secret project OpenAI has been working on, and this one is pretty crazy. Finally, Sal Khan, the CEO of Khan Academy, has some very interesting thoughts about the future of where AI progress is headed. He makes a comparison to Star Trek's holodeck as something we might see within the next decade. <laughs> So here's the official post by Google DeepMind that goes into some of the details of how they managed to achieve this, and you're going to want to hear this if you haven't already because it's pretty insane. First off, they take a look at the models they used. Today we present Alpha Proof, a new reinforcement learning based system for formal math reasoning, and Alpha Geometry 2, an improved version of our geometry solving system. Together, the system solved 4 out of 6 problems from this year's International Mathematical Olympiad, achieving the same level as a silver medalist in the competition for the first time ever. And if you aren't familiar with the International Mathematical Olympiad, or IMO, they give a little explanation of it here. The IMO is the oldest, largest, and most prestigious competition for young mathematicians held annually since 1959. Each year, elite pre-college mathematicians train, sometimes for thousands of hours, hours to solve six exceptionally difficult problems in algebra, combinatorics, geometry, and number theory. Many of the winners of the Fields Medal, one of the highest honors for mathematicians, have represented their country at the IMO. So clearly a very hard competition that only a few people can even compete in, and even one of the judges, Professor Sir Timothy Gowers, an IMO gold medalist and field medal winner, said the following. The fact that the program can come up with a non-obvious construction like this is very impressive and well beyond what I thought was state of the art. People are noticing how truly incredible this achievement by Google DeepMind was, and we still haven't even gotten to the craziest part about all of this. Here they state, Alpha Proof is a system that trains itself to prove mathematical statements in the formal language lean. It couples a pre-trained language model with the AlphaZero reinforcement learning algorithm, which previously taught itself how to master the games of chess, shogi, and go. So Google DeepMind continues to see success with their AlphaZero algorithm, which is essentially self-training AI. They mentioned they used it before to master games by having the AI play itself millions of times in a simulation, and now they're transferring all those skills to solve real-world problems to advance our understanding of science and technology. They continue to pump out breakthroughs like AlphaFold, and now AlphaProof, and Alpha Geometry, and it's going to take some time for us to fully realize the potential of these breakthroughs, but based on the rate it's going at, it looks like in the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot more crazy advancements and breakthroughs in important sectors like science, technology, and healthcare, drastically changing our understanding of the world today. In other AI news, the video generator Kling AI is now available to everyone. I've made a video on this before, and I remember when it came out a couple months ago, you could only use it if you had a Chinese phone number. So I wasn't able to try it, but based on the demos we looked at and the ones you can see right now, it's pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's as good as OpenAI Sora. Next, we have Udio version 1.5, their first major upgrade since arriving on the scene. As you can see, they've made some improvements to the audio quality, but what really stood out to me was a new feature they added called stem downloads. This this new feature actually allows you to split up your fully AI generated song on Udio into four separate stems, vocals, bass, drums, and everything else. This gives the user much more control over the song creation, and I'm super excited to see what the future of these AI song generators will look like because they truly have the potential to reshape the way we create and produce music, allowing for more creativity than we've ever seen before. On the topic of AI voice, Eleven Labs recently introduced their new Turbo 2.5 model, supporting new languages and increasing the speed of their conversational AI. They claim to have now unlocked high quality, low latency conversational AI for nearly 80% of the world. Just keep that in mind for now because we're going to come back to why that's so important really soon. Another thing I wanted to show you guys quickly is Stability AI's new Stable Video 4D. What this allows you to do is to take a 3D asset or an object in a video and turn it into multiple views or angles of that object almost instantly. 
This has major implications on what may soon be possible in fields like video game development, simulating worlds, and virtual reality. For those of you who are into video games, you will know that for the last couple of years, or even the last decade, video games haven't really changed that much, but this won't be the case for the next few years because things are about to get crazy. Now, with all those very recent advancements in mind, and going back to the fact that high quality, real-time conversational AI is rapidly becoming available in all languages, I am now going to show you this clip of Saul Khan, CEO and founder of Khan Academy, discussing how he envisions the future of AI in the next couple of years. You imagine two, three years in the future, you're going to be able to chat with Conmigo the same way that we're chatting right now. It's going to be able to make eye contact with you. It's going to be able to read your expressions, uh, tell that you're frustrated. And I know we got, we're gonna have to put some guardrails on there so it doesn't get too creepy, but it could be very powerful if you use it well. If you fast forward a few more years, you know I don't think virtual reality is going to be super mainstream in the next say three years, but if you go into the five to 10 year time frame when you have Apple Vision Pro version four, and it feels just like a piece of glasses you wear, and maybe it's it's a lot more affordable. Um, now all of a sudden the AI can can be in the same space as you, or you could be in the same space as the AI, or you could together travel the stars or enter into the circulatory system. Um, and you know, once again, this is the holodeck. This is even in the 24th century, I thought that this was not going to happen, uh, but this is probably going to happen in the next decade. So definitely a very interesting perspective from Saul Khan here, and some of the things he describes will be possible due to AI in the next couple of years may sound far-fetched to some of you, but if you're truly paying attention and have been following the AI space for a while now, you know just how fast these things can move and just how early we truly are. Now, Saul Khan is not the only one who envisions AI having massive impact on the world. Sam Altman, of course, strongly believes in the potential of AI, and he recently wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post where he discusses the extreme importance of the US maintaining its lead in AI development. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing for time's sake, but the main message he is trying to get across here is that if the US doesn't maintain its lead in AI, then it will leave room for authoritarian governments to take its place, and who knows what they'll do with that immense power. This op-ed also came out only a few hours before Sam Altman's announcement that GPT-40's long-awaited voice mode will finally begin rolling out next week, which would be this week, to select premium users. So OpenAI did claim that the reason for the voice mode delays have been due to safety reasons, and with Sam Altman now urging the US to step it up in the AI race and to implement better safety measures against foreign adversaries, it's becoming clear that we're at a point where the AI systems and features we now have are getting very powerful and it's something that governments have to start taking seriously. In other OpenAI news, OpenAI introduces Search GPT, an AI search prototype designed to give you clear and relevant results. There were some rumors that OpenAI was working on a new design for search to compete with Google search, but I didn't think we'd be getting this anytime soon. Of course, this isn't available to everyone yet. Only a small group of users will actually be getting access to this for now, but there their end goal with this is to eventually integrate the best features from SearchGPT directly into their latest frontier models. Other companies have been working on AI search as well, one of the more popular ones being Perplexity AI, who recently introduced their new Pro Search. The issue with these AI search platforms though is that although they may be better, it's simply more convenient for the average user to just use Google like they've always been. But if it can be integrated seamlessly into something like ChatGPT, which is what OpenAI is trying to do, I think it will truly revolutionize the way we search on the internet, especially when we get AI agents. Finally, I wanted to end off the video with this clip of Vitalik Buterin that I recently came across that really encompasses a lot of what we talked about today. By the way, if you don't know Vitalik, he is one of the co-founders of Ethereum and commonly known as one of the most intelligent people alive. So just take a listen. If you imagine, you um, know, like every yeah, AI growing exponentially, then like whatever the existing different like ratio of power are all get preserved but if you imagine it growing super exponentially right then what happens is that if you're a little bit ahead then like the the ratio of the lead actually starts increasing and then the worst case is if you have a step function right then whoever first discovers like some magic leap which could be discovery of nanotechnology could be discovery of like something that increases compute by a factor of 100 could be some 
algorithmic improvement would be able to just like immediately turn on that improvement and then uh, they'd uh, you know, quickly expand they'd quickly be able to find you know, like all of the uh, other possible improvements before anyone else and then they'd uh, take over everything right in in environment as uh, kind of like unknown and unpredictable as that like are you really actually going to get uh, kind of a bunch of courses that like roughly stay yeah you know w within sight of each other in the race so yeah i mean this is seriously something we need to consider because again if some foreign adversary like china were to surpass us at an exponential rate it will be almost impossible for us to catch up and leaves the state of the world in the hands of one government definitely some interesting and scary times we're headed in if you want to stay up to date on future ai news like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll be seeing you in the next one